What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got nine foods that are going to help you burn belly fat. Before we get into it, scroll down, please smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, bell notification icon. It really does help the channel out a lot. Before we get into it, please comment down below and just say what's up. It really means a lot to me when I see your guys' comments, so please leave one down below if you'd be so kind. All right, so before we get into today's video, I want you to know there are no foods that burn belly fat. There are no fat burning foods, there's no fat burning workouts, there's no fat burning exercises. This is all marketing and bullshit gimmicks that are going to get you to buy a certain product or exercise program. Number one on the list is skinny foods. What I mean by this is not skinny pop or skinny cow, I'm actually talking about foods that are high in volume. So foods like popcorn. For example, popcorn, you can have a small bowl of pretzels and for the same amount of calories, you can have a gigantic bowl of popcorn. So you want to be looking for high volume foods, foods that are low in calories and high in volume. Your stomach can only handle so much volume. So picking low calorie dense foods like broccoli, vegetable, any sort of non-starchy vegetables, broccoli, lean proteins, fruits, high fiber snacks like popcorn. These are going to help you reach your goals. Number two on the list is protons and neutrons. I pretty much just mean protein here. I just wanted to write protons and neutrons because I thought it was cool. It sounds sciencey, right? So protein. Protein is going to help you stay full. It's the most satiating macronutrient and it also has the highest TEF or thermic effect of food. And what this means, your body actually burns 15 to 20% of the calories that you ingest from these foods. So you only actually absorb about 85%. So protein is one of the hardest foods to actually gain body fat from. So as long as you're eating lean proteins and you're eating around 0.8 grams per pound of body weight, you are good to go. Number three on the list is free foods. Now, what do I mean by free foods? With my online coaching clients, a lot of times they want to track everything. They want to track the spinach, the cabbage, the bell peppers, the onions, the broccoli, the mushrooms. And a lot of these foods are just minimal calories for the amount of time and energy that it takes to weigh them out and track them. So I give my clients a list of free foods. If you're looking for that list of free foods, I'll put them down in the description so I don't have to list them all here in this video and you have to look at a list of foods. But pretty much it's safe to say that most non-starchy vegetables are going to fit into that list and are safe to eat and I don't make my clients track them. I don't think it's necessary. For the most part, most clients are not going to be eating enough vegetables. Most people are not going to eat enough vegetables. So I want to encourage my clients to eat more fruits and vegetables. So non-starchy vegetables in my eyes are a free food. All right, fight me. Fight me. I dare you. Fight me about it. Number four on the list is taco cleanse. Now, if you know me and you've been following my channel for quite some time, you are a part of the taco squad and you know how much I love tacos. Not only are they literally the most delicious food on the planet, but you've got the complex carbohydrates from the corn tortillas, you've got the protein from the fillings, you've got some vegetables and the salsas, the cilantro, the onion, the pico de gallo, you got some healthy fats from the meat and from the avocado or whatever kind of sauce you want to put on it. They are literally the perfect vessel for you to help you reach your goals. So if you're going on a cleanse, maybe a winter cleanse, you should do a taco cleanse. And uh, let me know down below if I should actually create a program called the taco cleanse because I've been thinking about it for a minute. You can do so much with tacos. Number five is liquid foods. Now, I'm not talking about a green smoothie with a ton of adaptogens and Shakeology packets from Beachbody Judy that who's friends with you on Facebook. All right, listen, nothing against big smoothies, right? But what I mean by liquid foods is water, sparkling water, tea, zero calorie drinks, diet sodas, green tea, black coffee. These are drinks. These are liquids that are going to fill you up for zero to minimal calories. They're going to help you stay in a calorie deficit. Why? Because most of the time when people think they're hungry, they're actually thirsty. So yes, I did include this on my list and I think they're helpful. Number six, convenient foods. Now people are busy and they have excuses as to why they don't hit their calories, why they don't hit their protein. One of these convenient foods, an example of this would be Chipotle, right? Chipotle's calories are so easy to track. You can get a burrito bowl with lots of protein, fiber. 
Uh, delicious corn salsa for less than 500 calories and plenty of protein. Another example of this would be going to the store and picking up a rotisserie chicken and maybe a bag salad, right? Having these convenient go-to options are, is necessary on your diet for fat loss. So I'd recommend that you find what kind of foods you like that you can go to the store and grab or go to your favorite restaurant and find foods that are easy to track into your macros and that are easy for you to hit on a consistent basis. Number seven, nature's candy. Now, this is fruit. Fruit does not make you fat. Fruit is delicious. Fruit is amazing. Fruit is low in calorie. Fruit is high in fiber. Fruit is hydrating. It's going to help you hit your micronutrients. It's going to help you stay full. And it's sweet. It, it kind of cures that sweet tooth, that craving that we all have. So I definitely recommend you eat plenty of fruit in your diet for fat loss. All right. Now, a pound of watermelon is around 150 calories. So find fruits that are lower in calories that are higher in fiber or just foods that you, fruits that you, or just fruits that you enjoy. So find ones that fit your goals, ones that you enjoy, ideally ones that are in season and ones that are going to taste good and be cheap on a budget. Number eight, anabolic foods. What do I mean by this? I mean, lately there's been this craze of all these anabolic recipes coming out of my channel. I have a lot of these on my channel. Things like protein French toast, things like a big wrap, a big Joseph's lavash wrap. I'll leave a video card up top to my last video that actually did three recipes with the Joseph's lavash wraps. I think you'll enjoy them. A lot of these recipes are high in protein, low in calories, and usually are very creative recipes. So I definitely recommend you go check out things like Greg Doucette's protein ice cream and his protein French toast. Those have been absolute game changers on my journey and they kind of switch things up from the normal boring stuff that people like to make like chicken, rice, and broccoli and oatmeal with some protein powder, right? Switch up your recipes, find some anabolic recipes because they really are good and they will help you hit your goals. Number nine is fiber foods. Now, I already talked about fiber a little bit, but looking for foods that are high in fiber. Why? Because fiber is extremely filling and, and it also is great for your gut microbiome. But without getting too far into digestive health, Fiber is good for you. You should be getting 15 grams per every 1,000 calories. And if you're not, you probably need to up your vegetable intake. That's a clear sign that you're not eating enough vegetables, which would probably mean that you're having a hard time with hunger pains and maybe your hunger hormones, maybe just feeling hungry a lot of the time on your diet for fat loss. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up the nine fat-burning foods that are going to help you stay in a calorie deficit. If you found this video enjoyable, please scroll down smash the like button. If you're not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.